Rhymebill is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to upload your HTML website to the internet for free. Don't worry, we're going to be using Netlify for a hosting service and it's going to be awesome. So let's get started. All right, so I get it. I remember when I wanted to upload my first website to the internet. I thought I had it all figured out, so I looked it up and guess what? I found a bunch of videos made in like 2013, 2011, and bruh, I cannot tell you, did not help at all. Let's take a look at some of these videos. In this episode, I'll tell you how to publish your website without... Nope. So we're gonna Guess what? Dead. Believe it or not, I still don't get how this guy did it. No, Honestly, not. it's just crazy how things have changed so much. Alright, so here I have the simple HTML page. And I just have a quick CSS attached. And finally, I have some JavaScript for the effects. And now we have a website that says, you are now online. So how do we actually get this website online? Well, to get it online, the first thing you want to do is to go to Netlify.com. Netlify is a company that offers hosting and some serverless backend. We're not going to worry about that today. We're just going to focus on hosting. So let's go ahead and enter. And here we're going to sign up. If you already have an account, just hold up and log in. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two files already running up which you can find in my previous videos. But for today, we're gonna go to File Explorer and find your main HTML file, like your homepage or whatever. You wanna rename it to index.html. You're gonna need index.html because that's what Netlify servers actually look for when hosting your static file. We're gonna hit Alt-Tab so we can swap windows and we're gonna drag our folder onto this Dropbox section. All right. And just like that, you just see your HTML file is now online. And it's pretty neat. You can actually visit this URL yourself and you should see your website's running. Nice. Wait, most of you guys might be like, what if I don't like this URL? What if I want a custom URL? Well, click site settings and scroll down a little bit you should get the option to change your site name. And the crazy thing about this is that the URL instantly changes. So if we go ahead and click it, we can see our page is still working, which is awesome. Okay, so for the people out there who actually want to pay for a domain name and have it so it says yourwebsite.com instead of yourwebsite.netlify.com, all you have to do here is go to the domain management and here you have the choice of adding a custom domain. And that's it. But a few drag and drops and a couple clicks you successfully uploaded your first website to the web. And don't forget to drop a link down in the comments so I can check your website out. But that's it. And take that 2013 videos. No one really likes you, so just get out of here 2013, 2011. All those garbage videos that didn't actually help you, but try to... Okay, never mind. Until next time, Rhyme out.